Hey guys, welcome back to Gold Souls. It is Christmas time and I have a vinyl video themed for the holidays for you guys. So before I dive into it, let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory. So a few years ago, um, my family made a big move to a new house and we discovered a bunch of vinyl that belonged to my grandmother and some vinyl that belonged to my mom when she was in high school and I took most of it. But I was a little too young at the time to fully appreciate the collection. So a lot of records got put away in this little cabinet in my house and every once in a blue moon, I'd go record shopping and see what I could find in there because the older I've gotten and the more that I've learned about music, the more I realized those vinyls that we put away are actually really cool. So recently I went vinyl shopping again and discovered a bunch of Christmas records that belong to my grandmother and I wanna show them to you guys. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so the first one we have here is a collection of five records in a little box here. It's called Have a Merry Christmas and it's a Reader's Digest pleasure programmed collection from RCA, manufactured especially for Reader's Digest by RCA Records in New York. And this came out in 1974. So as you can see, it has a beautiful cover. Look at that. There's a little spine there, isn't that cool? And if we open it up, we've got five records total. And there's actually some cool songs on here with some uh, well-known singers. We've got a lot of Bing Crosby, there's some Burl Ives, Patti Page, um, Eddie Fisher. It's a pretty good collection of people. And I'll show you what the jacket looks like for one of the individual records. Got some snowy trees and on the back, it looks like they have a history of each song, which is pretty cool. And record looks like it's in decent shape, not not a lot of scratches, so that's good. Okay, next up is another box set, Joyous Music for Christmas Time. I'm not entirely sure when this one came out, so I'm gonna put the year over here somewhere when I edit, there you go. And uh, this one has a lot of what I believe to be orchestral music. It mentions organ and bells. There's also some German and French Christmas carols on here. And I'll show you the inside, it opens up like this. There's supposed to be four records, but we're missing the first one. So there's only three in here, but they have really cool artwork on the front. So I'll show you what they look like. That one's pretty cool. Okay, so next up we have Christmas with Conniff. This is Ray Conniff Singers singing a bunch of popular Christmas songs. Um, I'm not sure about the year on this one, so I'm gonna put it right here. And here's the back. Here's the front. And this is a Columbia record. We've got the Christmas song, Jingle Bells, Winter Wonderland, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, White Christmas, Sleigh Ride, Frosty the Snowman. Based on the description, it sounds like it's probably an orchestral arrangement with um, a large choir or something like that. Okay, next we have this one with a really cute cover. Again, I'm not sure about the year with this one, so I'm gonna put the year here. These artists were a piano duo. Um, it's not these two ladies, it's two guys that played piano. And um, based on what I'm getting from the back here, it's uh, just a compilation of Christmas songs um, all on the piano. And the first side is all medleys of Christmas songs, and then the second side is all individual Christmas songs. I'll show you the back. Next, we have Christmas Carols Around the World from the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. This was released by Columbia and it actually says re-released by popular demand. So you know it's gotta be good, right? Basically it's just orchestral choir music. So kind of sounds like something my grandmother would have been listening to. So it makes sense. Here's the back, got lyrics. So next we have Golden Christmas Favorites. This one has one of my favorite jackets, front and back. I'll show you in a second what the back looks like. Um, I don't know what year this came out. So I'm gonna put it right here. And when I first saw this, I thought it was a compilation of all of these songs recorded by these artists, which would have been so cool because Blue Christmas by Elvis Presley is one of my favorite Christmas songs, but turns out it's actually just arrangements of these songs with um, a choir of singers. Um, so it's not like the actual recordings, but it's okay. So this front cover is really cool with the gold and everything, but I actually really like this one because of the back. Look at that cozy little scene. Don't you just want to live there? Look at that. Next we have Christmas Carols with Organ and Chimes played on the Paramount Theater Organ by Ashley Miller. Um, this one does not say the year, so I'll put it here when I edit. We've got some songs like The First Noel, Joy to the World, Oh Holy Night, Deck the Halls, White Christmas. And basically it just seems like it's mainly organ stuff. I don't think there's any singers on here.
Next we have Christmas Hymns and Carols featuring Bob Ralston at the organ with chimes and chorus as featured on the Lawrence Welk Show. And that's a cute little picture. We've got tons of tracks, like that's a lot. Oh, they're medleys, that's why. That makes sense, okay. So these are all combined. Um, as you can see, there's a list of all the medleys on the back. This record came out in 1966 under RCA Records. So I have one more record to show you guys. It's last but certainly not least. It's one of the most iconic Christmas albums ever recorded. It has my favorite Christmas song on it and it just means a lot to me and I'm so happy that we have this. It's an original copy of The Christmas Song by Nat King Cole. It's falling apart a little bit. It's seen better days, but I don't care. I'm so glad that we have this. First of all, look at this cover. Look at him. He knows he was killing it in that sweater. It's such a nice cozy cover. It's so cool, it's so iconic. Nat King Cole is one of my favorite classic singers and this whole album is just so good. My family listens to this every year digitally, but to actually be able to put this record on and hear it with all the snaps and crackles and pops, hopefully no skips, will be so magical and warm and cozy and I'm so excited to play this. This particular album came out in 19 something and it came out under Capitol Records. Just another look at the front. And there's the back. Let's take a look at the actual record, why not? Definitely gotta put this in a new jacket. There are a lot of scratches, I'm not gonna lie. So this might not play well, but honestly, I don't even care. It's just the fact that we have it is so cool. And if it doesn't play well, then I can always just like use it to display, which will be nice anyway. There, you see all those scratches? Yeah. This might be a tricky one, but you never know. And that's the end of the collection. I think the thing I love about finding vinyl that belonged to my grandmother um, is just that I think it keeps her memory alive and it kind of helps me like maybe learn a little bit more about her in a way that I wasn't able to because she died when I was really young. So I never really got to know her um, as I wish I could have. And as I've gotten older, you know, I've really enjoyed a lot of the same things that she did, whether that be music or movies. We definitely were close when I was a kid, but I think we would have been just the best of friends if she were still here today. So I don't know, it's cool finding these records and, and um, kind of feeling like I can still um, learn more about who she was and appreciate the things that she appreciated. Anyways, I'm gonna finish rambling, but um, it's just so exciting to find these records and uh, just to remember my grandma, so. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. Feel free to share this video with a friend who loves Christmas music and leave a comment below letting me know if you have any of these albums on vinyl and what your favorite Christmas song is, because I'd love to know. Don't forget to follow Gold Souls on Instagram and TikTok because there's plenty of content there that you just don't get on YouTube, so go check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a Merry Christmas.